I want to do all what I spent in a day living in Bangkok because right now I spend 1,500 to 2,000 a month living here. But I don't really know where that number is coming from. So I want to do like a mini analysis. I'm not going to count the fixed expense like rent, phone, electricity, and water because that is already paid. The thing that I can't control is like the variable expense like food, transportation, and miscellaneous. And today so far, I have not spent any money because I walked all the way to Seoul, also known as SWU. It's like the university next to GMM TV and a lot of actors come to this university but anyway so Tuesday afternoon hot AF I don't think you can tell because it's kind of cloudy today they saw me recording so they gave me two extra you know I was about to go to cafe Amazon to buy like a matcha latte so far I have not spent money what the heck Okay, I gotta say good things about this because it is pretty good. 0% sugar and 0 calorie. High vitamin C. I almost thought it said Costco. If you go this way, it's the uh, pier. Because I want to take the pier to Patonam to eat chicken rice. I've been on the lookout for potential people to talk to, but they all look unapproachable or maybe they're shy or they don't know English or I look sus with this outfit you know I actually bought a university student outfit so next time I'm gonna bust that out they gave me this for free right but little did they know that I'm like hardcore like selling it on YouTube for free I lost my courage. I had a second chance. I could have asked her, but she looked like she was really fierce. And I feel like when it's one person, they're most likely to not want to do the interview. But if it's two people, it's like peer pressure, so they are more likely to do it. <laughs> the thing is, I've never taken like this fairy situation. Don't really know how much this is gonna be. But this angle is a little bit awkward, that's why I'm legit squatting. I didn't really know how much it was, so I just gave the person 15 baht and then he gave me one baht back. So altogether it's 14 baht to go from Cebu to Batonam. This is like souvenir for me and then I feel like this number is pretty lucky, like 05838. I didn't know that when you get off the pier, it's really the R walk. And you know how special the R walk is for me? And Central Road is like my hood. I like this because it's like you don't have to talk to anyone, you just put numbers. Picture version? Oh yeah, picture version and word version. Samsung tea, my go-to, and then the small version. But most importantly, we gotta look at the price because this is kind of a finance video, but four is not a good number. What the heck? And then we got vegetable. You know, this is what made me like like Bangkok. Like every time I think about Bangkok, I think about Central Road. I'm kind of a Chatham uh, fan, right? And this big C is funny how like right next to it is the Chatham. Uh... This is the super OG mosquito spray. I need. that time of the month where I'm out. I don't know what brand is the best, but this is the one that I like to use ever since I came to Thailand. A DIY Tom Yum. But if you go out and eat, I'm pretty sure there are ones less than 95, right? 
The main reason why I came to Big C is because I clogged my toilet and I want to buy a plunger. So there's a thing called Mr. Muscle. I've been eyeing on it for a while and it's supposed to help with clogged toilets. Okay, I'm just gonna buy three and if these three don't work, then I'll buy a plunger because I don't want like a physical thing. It reminds me of a song. I don't want the rain to stop me from going places, so I don't care. I just like walked in the rain. And good thing I was wearing black because if I was wearing white, I still would have walked in the rain if I wore white. Today I spent 750 baht, which is a lot, but this is not normal. Like I have random stuff to buy. Today I had to buy pads and this thing because I clogged the toilet. And then I'm gonna eat this for dinner. I want to improve the audio, but then this makes me look extra. Pandan filled custard bun and then the top is like coconut icing but it's not that sweet it's really light coconut icing so the whole thing is pretty good but i think you're supposed to have it warm i never really eat in the living room i just like stand in the kitchen and eat and there's the separator which i like hey I'm at the rooftop of the condo building because I just finished my Thai class. So you know I'm here on the ED visa. Wait. So I am taking Thai language lessons six hours a week online for 18,500 baht for six months. I think of it as, oh, I'm buying time for me to be in Thailand. Today, I didn't get out of my condo building at all except to go to 7-Eleven to buy food because I have not ate all day but I basically got three things from 7-Eleven and it's 64 baht kind of expensive to be honest now that I think about it because you can buy a pack of eggs for 55 baht ish right now is ha mong yen so the sun sets around 6 p.m. in Bangkok usually the reason why I'm making this clip is because this video is not long enough and I want the video to be longer so that's why I'm chilling at the rooftop and watching the sunset so the sunset is over there there that day that i went out i spent 750 baht in five hours because i was outside from 12 to 5 p.m today i didn't really i didn't go outside at all except i stayed in my condo building i just kept going back and forth yeah so sometimes i just like the days that i don't go outside because if i don't go outside it means that i don't have to spend money anyway i'll see you in another video